Yo, you listening to the Oprah Rose Show with TT and Gigi, and yeah. Get it popping. Pop. Thoughts. Everything begins with thoughts. She's a slut, she's a hoe, she's this, she's that. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but not too much. It's about people being uncomfortable with women owning women their sexuality. Own sexuality. What is the truest, highest vision that you hold for yourself? I'm a real ass bitch, and I'm gonna get everything that I'm gonna get on my own. I know for sure. You don't get what you wish for. You get what you believe. <laughs> oh, when the girls get trained. Damn it, right? It's easy to lean in. Light skin face. Come on, colorism. (laughs) (laughs) Within your own community. It be your own people. Oh. Y'all ready? Yeah, sorry. Hi. Hi, guys. What's up? What's up? I'm TT. I'm Chi Chi. And I'm DD looking for a camera because we're recording live. <laughs> and this is the Oprah Rose show. Yeah. This is it's still Black History Month. It is. You know. We still very black. Mm-hmm. It's a very black ass show. I keep seeing ads for all black and I have no idea what it not like porn, but like the oh. all black. Um, oh, it's like a network, right? Yeah, what but is where that? is it and what do they show? Like a new on BET? I think it's like We T V. We T V has its own all black network. I think it's We. Oh. Melissa, correct me if I'm wrong, but but if they don't have all black employees, I'm not interested. It's like, it's like Zeus. Oh, it's like Zeus. It's okay. Like Zeus. Oh, okay. Oh, got it. Okay. But well, I don't know if they're gonna have all black employees. Right. <laughs> no. Oh, it is not Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> like no. aspirations. Very much so. And like very listen, aspirational. I wish we could live in a utopian Wakandan continent, but you know. Could you imagine? Until then. Fair. I don't know. Everybody might be getting on my nerves a little bit. I'm like, oh my god, imagine? y'all niggas! Like, uh huh. <laughs> like, I'm tired I don't of y'all. Know. I niggas. did enjoy Essence, and not a wh- single white person worked there when I was there. That mm. is low key the black utopia. <laughs> that is Wakanda. Wow. Essence yeah. is. It, it was a lot of fuckery, but it was a great time. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And and just all women. Yeah, and you then could come. There, oh, you could talk about I'm hair. A fest, right? Which is still like Wakanda, but even. Well, yeah. Behind but we worked. Like, we both worked at Essence. Fest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who that alternating years? I worked the year after you. Low key might have been the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, absolutely, like, the hardest job. I think it was. Yeah, it was. The fact that I that became both physically y'all worked ill yeah. after the Essence Festival I was, was over. It was like it, that's, were, that says enough. It was like your body was on, and we did completely yeah. different things. Yeah, we mm. did. Mm-hmm. And like your body is just on fumes. Like what? I remember, like just being like when it was done, it was. Just, and and keep in mind, I did festivals, but like Essence is also a very different type yeah. of festival. Yeah, it was just different. It took something it up did. out of it you. It was a like, lot. It was, it was a lot. But what I what I do appreciate about my experience working at Essence Festival, aside aside of it being like. Black All and black. amazing, yeah. which was incredible, right. was that I really got to see the fruit of my labor like immediately almost. Yeah. Because you saw it you know, in real you, time. We, yeah, you see it in real time because you work on the festival. And then I was on the festival team. And I think you did production team. So yeah. like you see it, you see your work. And right. that and that was was beneficial. And I think too. Even like, though your body falls apart after. I mm-hmm. can't. But I think too, even like working with your friends. Like, yeah. I feel like the Essence Fest people, like, yeah. I know all y'all. Yeah. Like, and, and that's yeah. what I was going to say. There wasn't, everybody knew that you were working really hard to put on something beautiful, right? Yeah. So, like, people, you could complain, but, like, it. I don't know. It, it didn't feel like it was in vain or something. Mm, like, yeah. it was very difficult. But like you said, it's like, well, we in the office. We all up in here. It's one o'clock in the morning. Like, so we should, is it Chinese tonight? Like, and it just right. be like, I don't know. They would be playing music. Like, yeah. right. it still did feel like mm-hmm. good, if you will. You right. could talk and, like, about you your was, next, your new hairstyle. Yeah, everything. Like, it was. That was <laughs> like, wow. Literally, as simple as that, though, all, because like that's normal conversation between friends. Yeah. You know, but they don't talk about, especially in New Orleans. Like, right. your baby hair, like, festival braids. That's yeah. the thing, and only people who've worked at the Est- Essence Festival know not festival braids. Festival braids. braids. Yeah, that but, that's the thing. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to to go back. I know. I can't. She she's a good time. I do love me some essence. I best. prefer to go as a as a guest for sure. No more I've as an employee. Been. Oh, next time to... as a paid participant, you you have okay. to get that for our lives. Okay. It's so much. It is. I mean, and the last time I Talent. went was probably the 
abs. Like I, somehow my titty was hanging out. My homie was like, Tara, please, like come on. It was just so no, free you went after you went after that. I was with you. That's we right. Were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I have been a bunch of times. Even yeah. Kanye was actually my favorite too. Oh, that was Kanye a good one. Essence was so good. That was a good one. That was when he was on his redemption tour. Yep. We redeemed him, and now look at us looking I know, foolish. I know. Even though I, I know. Welcome to Black History Month. Now keep back. <laughs> Bitch, you was, she had, remember she had like canceled him. I did cancel oh, him. Yeah. And then he put out a seemingly twenty four hours. <laughs> I was sensitive. I was protecting my black baby in my womb. And then the, the gospel album came out. <laughs> she came, album. she uh, came right on back. She came. Jesus. She, was coming she back. came right on she back. She slowly came no back. No matter how Girl, I denounced the church, they, yeah, he said Jesus, and I was like, well. And then he he dropped. God said, "Don't judge." And then she liked Donda. <laughs> I know she did like Donda. Well, what would what, what did Tyler, the creator, say? Your opinions can change. <laughs> well, I look at you in the mirror. I stand as a person whose opinions change. Oh I my am gosh. ever evolving individual, okay. and forgiveness is very important. So it is important for us to forgive and people. So is grace. If we if we want to be Both. forgiven, this is true. This is very you know, very true. So y'all know we always so excited to have a guest. Yes. And I think we say everything like, we're so excited, we're so excited. But we really <laughs> actually do. It don't be bullshit. Because people be fucking with us. It. Right. <laughs> we actually do. It's not a lie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, podcaster, fellow podcaster. Yes, yes, yes. R- r- should we call you like a relationship guru or oh, all? Yeah. Um, it's all giving all. All the relationships um, I rule. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm gonna answer my own question. Yeah. 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 But no, his his response was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. Um, um, be lying in Black History Month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we we we're being honest and truthful. We yes. are we are upholding Black men and Black women. Accountability, yeah. accountability. Yes, sir. In high places. Yes, yes man. And relationships okay. are a high place. They, they are. are. They Truly, are. they are. So it is low key even relationship expert. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. No, <laughs> we are not doing. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. I've had my, we all have had our fair share in relationships. I'm, yeah. I'm probably just the one who paid attention a lot. So, like when I'm speaking, it sounds like I know a lot, but it's because I fucked up a lot. So I'm really just wow. letting people know where I fucked up at. I love your account. So, that is account. So, it's so a lot of mistakes. You know, because we did what was yeah. it? The episode with See the Thing Is podcast, mm-hmm. and you know, or no, I'm sorry, it was the Patreon, mm. and we were like, you know, men do not. It, sometimes it makes it hard for men to listen. And I honestly, I'm being, let me have some accountability. You know, that's going to be the buzzword of the okay. day. I wish we, this was like the Andy Cohen thing. We could like take a mm-hmm. shot every time we say accountability. I mean, you can still do it. You know, just right. everybody listening. It's spooky take, season. Okay, um, take a shot with us. So accountability. But um, I think a lot of times men and women don't listen to each other in their needs. Like I think, yes. you know, women want like, how women communicate sometimes um, is like, this is wrong. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. And then men do it in these like subtle ways. Like mm-hmm. I'm slow sometimes. Like you, I need. I and I think I need some. I need communication like how I would. And then I had to realize mm. like that's not okay. Like everybody's not going to communicate like you said right. and be like, hey, well I hate this and that because you know, I'm always <laughs> complaining about everything anyway. So I don't have no issues. Would you date yourself? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that hell could have went anyway. I didn't, know. Was, I didn't know. I didn't know. You was gonna go yes or no. It was, it was, it was the thirty second contemplating. Right. Like, what I was are like, hell? Oh, okay. Like, I, maybe. Lie. I was gonna. <laughs> she was like, wait, am I? No, I know, would. I would. You know who came to mind? Remember the little girl unwrapping them Christmas gifts, and she's like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I, it, I'm like now. I'm kind of like. Yeah, uh, okay, maybe not as confident, Lou. I know. Would I date me? Yeah, yeah. Now okay. I do it now. Now it wasn't always like that. I wouldn't have dated me before. Okay, now. what's different between now and then? Um, experience. You know, also I'm very self conscious of a lot of shit that I do, and I'm also self conscious of a lot of people. So it's like before, I guess you could say I was more so like a self centered, narcissistic kind of thing. Oh. But subconsciously, though, I didn't even realize how into myself I was. So, like, a lot of the things that I did were, like, things that I did really for my satisfaction. I didn't really give a fuck about nobody else. Mm. What know? made you come to that realization, though? Um, A breakup. I went through a really, really bad breakup. Like, it fucked me up bad. I was depressed for, like, four months. Oh, didn't wow. leave my room for, like, four months. So I kind of put myself, like in a prison almost like mm-hmm. they didn't leave they didn't do nothing 
So like in my cell, like my mental cell, mm -hmm. I did mad thinking. So I was like, yo, damn, like what went wrong? What happened? It's that in the third, et cetera, et cetera. It was also the first relationship that I was actually like vulnerable in. Oh. Like that was the mm -hmm. first girl that I ever liked. Like I've, you know, I liked mm -hmm. mad women for cliche reasons, but yeah. that was like the first person that I liked for her. Yeah. So, and I thought I did everything right after a certain point in time. Like, you know, I had the conversations, I was honest, I was selfless, all that cliche stuff. And then when shit went wrong and it backfired, it was like a big ass slap in the face. So, so you were vulnerable with her, and she when only because you said backfired. Correct. But does she use anything against you? Like, I guess I'm curious to know what the without no, I getting mean, a sp in any in specific details. Uh, were there any? Was there a specific experience that you could only because you used the mm -hmm. word backfire and and you used vulnerability before. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, and I speak from, I guess, more of a personal experience is mm -hmm. that if I give you something and I feel like it backfired against me, it was because I showed you something in a soft place mm. and you took advantage of that. So was that like something similar for you? Well, in reality, to answer the question, I guess it will be a backfire to me because shit didn't mm -hmm. work out the way I wanted it to. Oh. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it backfired. You know, there's yeah. always something to learn. If I, yeah. if I didn't go through what I went through, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And I love where I'm at now. But at that time, I would have said it backfired more so because, like, when I, I was in a place where, like, I put somebody before me for the first time. Like, I'm actually thinking about us instead of me. Like, what would we like to do? You know, like, that yeah. type of shit. And I went through a really rough time period where everything in my life fucked up. Like, I lost my job, got kicked out of the crib. Like, a lot of things just started to spiral in the down downward hill all right after At each other back time. to back to back and i felt like when i needed her that's when she decided to dip like when i needed mm -hmm. somebody the most she left you don't have to, you don't have to put up with nobody in the shit that they go through right. but i was like it would have been nice for you to do that and because right. she and didn't felt do like that you did everything right and then yes. yeah mm -hmm. so i was like damn this bitch i mean this that's how you feel in the moment difficult to trust women after that experience Ah, shit, you talking about trust women. I haven't really, it's been hard for me to like women, for real, for real. You know, I'm, really? for a while. Because I was going to follow up with vulner being vulnerable again, because yeah. I think that is something that's probably, I'm assuming that is something that is hard for men. Mm -hmm. And again, all those words, but you started, we still at like, so you can't right. even get, we I mean, can't even get to trust and vulnerability I mean, so yet. I don't want to front and say, like, I've never liked anybody since then, but it was a while, like, it was a couple years. A while. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, like, I'll casually date, but... I just want to have sex and move on. You feel me? But <laughs> in reference of actually liking somebody, like somebody that I thought would, that I could like have some kind of interest in, it took me a while to get there. Like a, like a while, like maybe about two years or so. I always think that's so interesting for men because I feel like that's the case with a lot of women. Like mm -hmm. it's very difficult to, you can go on dates, you can have sex, all these things, but to like actually like someone to get to like you said the the we and the us and the trust and the vulnerability mm -hmm. um but i i never think of that for men because i feel like y'all options are just limitless like there's so many more of there's so many more mm -hmm. women that you guys can also go through and choose from whereas women i feel like our pool is just so much more it's just so much smaller yeah i mean you did you just call me a woman for starters did I? No. I said that I pulled for women. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, you know, women go through the same thing. I'm like, damn, maybe. Oh, no. I'm not messing with you. Because no. uh, G beside her. <laughs> but, um, no, nah, what I was saying was that we do have a lot of options, especially being, like, the person that pursues. But you have to understand, like, men go after a lot of shit that they don't really want. So, like I said, yeah, you, I don't want to make it seem as though I really? don't. Really? That you don't even want? I mean, like cliche things like you see somebody you know like we like the first thing that you really gonna look at is like sexual attraction right 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 so yeah. nigga, you gonna see like damn she fire like I wanna hit or whatever you right. feel me like we can always go about things that way but in reference of like diving into something of substance like yo damn like she actually funny I like her like I would like to spend time with her you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying like outside of like the sexual encounters for me at least and like the guys that I've come in contact with a lot of men don't really like majority of the women that they go after what? Be honest. Breaking news, y'all. <laughs> what? I mean, What's the point? I mean, you know what the they really I don't. Just literally like. I'll be honest. Like, think of like how many. Think about how many men have wasted your time. Yeah. No, I actually agree with you. you. Know and just yeah. even off of the way, just 
the way that you hear men talk about women just in general, and I don't want to like go into that divisive like men versus women conversation because that's mm-hmm. a black hole and counterproductive. But because it doesn't apply it, to everybody, it doesn't, right? Mm-hmm. But to your point, mm-hmm. there are very much so moments where you're confused, and it's like, do you even like yeah. women? Mm-hmm. Because you, everything is negative after negative, or or is it that you just want to fuck? women but yeah. you don't necessarily like so it's them. giving ladder like for the most part yeah you know, ours is the the opposite it's like you know if you're in that space it's mm-hmm. like oh my gosh she's so attractive oh he's funny he's nice this my mm-hmm. husband like <laughs> it, it escalates mm-hmm. sometimes you know for mm-hmm. some men it's that but like more times than not it is probably women who are mm-hmm. like you can envision a life very quickly and y'all just out here to fuck and wasting bitches time i you know i hate don't it y'all here. i'm reformed <laughs> right, don't y'all, I, I mean, but I didn't know that was a thing that um, my cisgender men is out here dating women <laughs> that they don't really like. Yeah, I, I, I personally agree. I, that's how I feel. You know, like just even like from like my closest friends, like when they tell me about women that they're dating and shit like that. Like at the beginning is, yo, she's this and that. Third, I like her. Da, da, da. I'm like, all right, bro, slow down, bump your heels. What kind of pasta does she like? You feel me? Like, do you, do you know this girl? You, you feel say me? you like her. No, you feel me? And, and, then, she and like. then, like, after a couple weeks, you know, like, well, you know, after post sex is, yo, bro, this bitch won't leave me alone. She's annoying. I'm like, oh, now you don't like her anymore. You feel me? It's so like a lot of niggas, they just be real caught up in, like, lust. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, she's good on paper, whatever. But niggas don't really, men don't really be liking as much women as they think they do. Wow. Promise you they don't. Promise you. So they what don't. can women do differently? Um, I, why curiosity. gotta be y'all? You, no, you, why y'all gotta change? I don't think you that we have that. to change, but I'm just curious because life is gonna life. You can mm-hmm. only control what you can control. So I can't like as a woman, I niggas. can't control what the next <laughs> man does, but I can I can control myself. So mm-hmm. what is a what is I guess. How can I identify, or as a woman, what can how can women identify men don't, that don't like them? You know what's funny? But he's, only lust actually, them. He's actually right. Like it will be unfair for huh. us to tell you to change. Like you guys aren't actually. So doing I think anything I wrong. I think I led you know incorrectly saying? with that because mm-hmm. my thing is that what what Here can women go. do to be to be able to spot a nigga who don't really like them oh. but who only want to fuck oh. them? Okay, I'm break like, it down. I'm not even a nigga inconsistent. <laughs> yeah, I let but you know it's so difficult though bro because like i got i ain't gonna say his name but one of my really close friends like he run the same game every time he talks to a girl like he see a girl you know taking out on dates flowers at work type thing do all this shit wow and then after a couple weeks I'm like yo bro I don't know why this bitch on my dick like because you did mad shit like you did all the things for her to be on your dick you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's just his play. That's, that's some really sick that. shit. Yeah, that, that is. That's, that's, but his, but the, what's even more sick is that in the beginning, he thinks he likes her. And he's doing this shit. Like, you're doing so much with somebody you don't even know. And now you got the situation you were hoping for. And you realize this isn't the situation that you want. I never it's thought about chase. that. I'm not even going like, to lie. Of, I think so many yeah. times women are like, you know, you're like, oh, it was going so well. We were doing so good. And mm-hmm. then like, it seems it seems like out of nowhere that everything just changed. Meanwhile, he don't know what he want. Yeah. That's but you, but this is, I don't want to say this is for all men though. I ain't going to make no Oh, absolutely not. You know, I actually did date a guy similar mm-hmm. to that who uh, I felt like he only was giving me the attention that I wanted when I wasn't giving him any. Oh. And he was only like persistent and doing all of those things when I didn't care. When I was like, ah, I didn't fuck yeah. you. Ah, ah. <laughs> but when he had my attention, played with it. Yeah, I hate niggas. I do too. And I think, and I think I that speaks to niggas. more of like a I, control I and manipulation. Oh, absolutely. And, I think, and especially when you're younger, you don't recognize those mm-hmm. things. Right. So like the men that actually are, you know, you get a little older and you're like, oh no, that was actually literally a form of control and manipulation. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't about, and you think it's about you, like he cared for me, he loved me. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. He and, do. Not, that's a funny way of showing it. <laughs> your face, I'm dead. Not he you. Do. I'm dead. No, that, yeah. it's like, I, I don't even know how we, you know, we could be on the timeline. The, the relationship issues are like mm-hmm. forever ongoing. Of like, yeah. you know, the two hundred. I don't ever have to hear the word two hundred dollars dates ever Inflation again. Inflation is like, two fifty. 
fifty now. Yeah, she, exactly. Inflation. A two hundred dollar yeah. day is two fifty. A two hundred dollar day is right. normal. Right. Yeah, it's normal. It's if I were to pay for the now. both of us, that's normal. It's normal. Yeah. So you got your like you said, inflation. You got your two hundred fifty dollar dates, and the then drink the is one. Twenty dollars. You right. ain't gonna just have one. And then the, the conversations about the like, uh, not six. Well, three apiece. But like, and then the conversations about like you know dating people who like you. Which every time I see that, I'm like, what the who maybe it's so simple that it goes over my head that yeah. I'm like why wouldn't anybody date people that like them but people th- do that because there's the idea also that some people have that you can grow to like somebody yeah. and people be like really holding on to that like they're a nice person they treat me well I mean maybe the, the attraction will come around I don't agree with this but some people will be doing it I wouldn't want that yeah Yeah, I would. if I'm not fired from day one just leave me alone like, no. <laughs> like if you don't look at me and see right. Jesus Christ, I don't want to be a part Jesus of Jesus Christ. Oh my star. God! For, I'm being honest. Like, who would do you? How would you feel if you if whoever it is you talk about? I was like, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I didn't really like you that much in the beginning, but you know, you you grew on me. <laughs> I wish him. No, like like I, I like, like yeah, it happened. I wish like, we got there. <laughs> You'd be like, so what was you thinking in the beginning? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what was I? Like, it kind of just, like, strikes an insecurity in you now. Yeah. It See, does. I halfway you know like I mean? niggas now. So, no, you don't ever want to, like, leave right. with that. Halfway you know, because it's crazy. like... Back like, literally halfway. Like, literally halfway. Men are men are barely making themselves a need. Damn. <laughs> it's like a... It's just, try, honestly, a want. The rose toy yeah. almost took us out. <laughs> that the rose <laughs> that oh my god that rose toy was took yeah, us out make sure y'all check out our Patreon <laughs> where we go over all of the different optics and that, the speeds the of the rose the rose is taking y'all out that the game that shit had niggas say. on extinct for like 90 days wait a minute why, why I was out um, <laughs> having lunch last week last Friday with mm-hmm. some friends from school and it was a dude and I know Loon this I've got shit to do with what right. you came here to talk about mm-hmm. but you brought up rose and I thought that this mm-hmm. was very interesting okay so there was a gentleman who said that he has his own rose that he, that he takes what? to his woman's house that he whips out when he got bitches over and i said Excuse that's me? mad unsanitary that's Thank this, you. in covid but i was like he just I, ruined like seven ph balances right i, I, I like the I fact was, that you I know that drinking club soda and i what? literally like spit out the club soda when when he said yeah i, I hope he's that rose. It. i pulled that out on my girls I said plural. <laughs> like, but like, but how would y'all feel if y'all fuck with somebody? They just pulled out I rose toy for you. They pulled I would, a rose they out on like, me that ain't mine. <laughs> like, like, what? Yeah. You just I, got and your and own I shit. I tried to explain to him. I was like, "Yo, bro, that's just really nasty. That's like yeah. you go into your homeboy's house and you wearing their drawers, even though you clean. Because he's like, even I sanitized it. That. I'm like, no, you can't. There, it's also no lazy. It's also lazy. Like, just fuck, me... just have sex. <laughs> no, or get a girlfriend. I, 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 I was about to say something very crass, with... but just have sex. Just... Like, why you got to pull the the, the I toy mean, out? Like, like, he... I appreciate the effort. Yeah, exactly. I actually please. appreciate. So I didn't want to like be condescending, but I was like, you know, just so you know, like if you're going to move forward with the toys with a woman, okay. you should have an individual toy for the each individual woman and you should let them choose it or y'all do it together it comes up in conversation because you don't even know she don't even she not even into that some women be don't even be into that's so many questions stimulation like that so many questions (laughs) or just i would do (laughs) (laughs) i got this little thing for you i heated it up a little bit you better take that out the box a nigga pulling a rose out on you but just out the top drawer but out the top drawer is crazy because he was like he was like i mean we be in it and when i just pull it out and use it don't don't nobody say they probably just like so in because they're so into it like that's manipulation <laughs> like, I'm gonna catch you when you weak. Like you don't like you ain't gonna say nah. You like all right, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Like, Where is consent? Good. Where's the consent? He say just whip it out. Oh Yo, my god! Because nah. I would be like, oh, you just you just got that in your top drawer. Nah, niggas is mad. Yeah, I'm mad questions. <laughs> I'm dead. I I I am literally. I oh, cannot. He, he, he said he doing something. Like though. he said, roses. It's clearly taking over the community. Like Yo, clearly, I had, because... I had women in a chokehold. What? Like, I might have to cop one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm like, ladies, if you listen, I promise it's a new one for each one of y'all. I promise. Oh it's a new one. It's a new one. Using, I promise. Using the exact refurbished same rose. one. Oh my Not god. A refurbished one. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. No, but so I guess back to accountability. Right. You know, a lot of times women. Uh, did y'all drink? 
Y'all know I'm, I'm good. Drinking water. I've been drinking the whole time. So. Wait, you don't pop the whole bottle? No, I actually don't drink. I stopped drinking. That's so fire. I know that's yeah. right. And I just I'm, broke my vir- uh, virginity of yeah. drinking for this, for this? New virginity. For virginity of for, 2022. For when we recorded? Yeah. I love that. Cheers, sis. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> but I feel like but with people that don't drink, they have normally a lot of energy. So I'm assuming that you don't need alcohol to be your full self. No, not at all. Like, I, I'm me regardless. I stopped drinking because I kind of felt I was dependent on that shit too much. And mm. I was really young drinking a lot. You know, yeah. like, it was to the point, I'm like, yo, this shit don't feel good. Like, for my 21st birthday, I got so drunk, I was, like, sick for, like, three days. And I was mm. just like, what the fuck am I doing? That would sound like vodka. So, nah, yeah. it was everything. It was Hennessy, like vodka. How long have you been sober? It was some, you said what? How long have you been sober? That's fire. Um, The last time that I've been visit, I ain't gonna front. Last year, around April, was the first time that I was drunk in like maybe five, six years. Wow. Yeah, That's still amazing. April. It really is. And I was so drunk. Oh my God. God, I'm talking about like barely made it. That. It was Because really you're your tolerance yeah. is so low. Yeah, if I even smell Hennessy, it's over. Yeah, especially, so, yeah, that, mm. you know, but that was the last time that I was drunk, visibly drunk, I that I remember being head. drunk. But, um, but yeah, I'm me regardless, though, without it. Like, I don't depend on it. Like, I'm fine. Hmm. Like, you you would think I was drunk. I just got, I'm just me. I wow. love it. So, we know people like you. <laughs> back to accountability. Okay. Um, I'm like, <laughs> back to Are back you there. holding yourself uh-huh. accountable? Um, look, see, I'm not drinking. I'm not losing my point. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I think a lot, you know, so it's so easy to throw, say, you know, y'all ain't shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, all niggas, you know, whatever it is, like, and just kind of always point the blame specifically for, you know, black cisgender women to, I'm talking about black people, y'all, black yeah. cisgender women yeah. to black cisgender men. And I, I do think a lot of times we probably don't really look within to say, like, mm, maybe I could have done this a little differently. Like, I could have mm. listened more or or whatever it is. Like, what are some of those things that women, I feel like, can kind of internally look oh. within mm. to themselves? Oh, you try to get me canceled for the month <laughs> yeah. of February. During Black History. Um, Damn. Try life, that was brother. actually really good. It I was. like that one. Okay. Account, account uh, ability. My Invisible shot. <laughs> um right. one thing <laughs> one thing that I feel a women well black women can do like in the black community is embrace the fact that niggas have feelings. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I ain't gonna front like how can I say this? I feel like men we have this this um this persona that not just that we portray, that the world portrays, like we're so big, bad and strong and macho and masculine and like bullets bounce off his type shit. But for me personally, so there was a lot of times where I like, I, like somebody might have done something I didn't like, said something that I didn't like, and I had to hold it down. And that shit was eating at me. And then when I actually said something about it to a specific individual, it was like, yeah, you're definitely giving me like bitch vibes right now. Like, so like create safe space, y'all. create mm-hmm. safer spaces for, for men to express their emotions. I agree you know with what you. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, also, what else can I say? Damn, I'm trying to tread real lightly. <laughs> I don't think that you have to tread lightly. I think that I think that you know it is important for you to be honest mm-hmm. about how you know women, black women, can be supportive and show up for men as well or our partners. Yeah, I agree. Um, and we asked the question. Yeah. Oh, like, I get it. I got so one. you know it. I and one. I think I'm. I'm again be totally honest i Mm -hmm. i feel like as of recently you know when there's this like big pressure and focus on mental health so Mm -hmm. i think men can then come out and say like you said i actually do have feelings no one you know is thinking that men aren't you know not human but to be honest i don't think i ever really thought of men's feelings like it is that perception Mm -hmm. of like you got it, you a man. Yeah. But why? Like I, I think it's just kind of like patriarchy. Yeah, like okay. Okay. Condi- okay. conditioning. Yeah, conditioning. we we support it as much as it doesn't, as much as it's not like beneficial for us. It, but accountability, a, a lot right of us, now. Oh, we, we do. do it because that is the world that we live oh in. So we, y'all really be out here like acting like men don't have feelings. But y'all do. But y'all do. It's something that we have to unlearn. Yeah. Damn. It's something that we have to unlearn. But you grow how up can really I ha- young. But, but y'all be identifying my feelings. So how can I have feelings, but the nigga you date don't have feelings? 
Well, I I wouldn't say. Question. I feel like I've did that on learning a while ago. Right, you can't use the obvious answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you said. I'm uh, How can I have feelings and Loon not have feelings? Yeah. Uh, Loon got feelings. That's, and that's, I hate it's it's, it's now giving, I'm about to get sex. Yeah. It's <laughs> given, you it's cannot given, use the obvious answer. Given, what? But no. But that's what it is. But that's what yeah, a lot of I, the it things is, that it is rooted I'm, in. So that so yeah. So then that's rooted in that. I don't. I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call it like homophobia. But yeah. there is. But but there's a connection right, there, right? right? Right. So it's like it's not the the fear or um or like a dismissiveness or even like a prejudice right. against you know you know if gay you're gay man. or gay it's, man you associate but, a man having feelings with him being right, gay right with him being gay whereas like a man who's not gay you don't give him that that, that same ability, grace but to have a has, feeling but he's a fucking human you know right. and mm-hmm. so that is women's uh, that's our opportunity to check our own selves in mm-hmm. our own way Loon, to, I'm looking out like for you, you my brother <laughs> Yo, I, I, I appreciate that I appreciate we that get we, that, we get yeah. into it I'm leaning yeah. in yeah. cause I'm right. saying like damn yeah. I, I set up in my seat for this me one. off guard with that one because wow. we can't talk about like tearing the walls down of patriarchy if we still contribute to it right and that is and that is that's the biggest way to contribute to it mm-hmm. is the the basic human right that we have is to have a feeling yeah. Yeah. and to feel and to love and to not love and to hate and mm. and if you have a son wherever his sexual orientation may lie if you have a son allowing him to express himself from a year, very young age and whatever don't that tell is. him to not cry when he falls right allow him to be able to express his vulnerability at four he doesn't scrape his yeah. yo that happened that, to me for majority that. of my entire life like, yeah, right. like don't cry there's so many that's times that's where it starts it's so crazy. Like, I haven't, I'll be honest, my fault. I'm a really, really big Kobe fan. So when Kobe passed away, I cried. But before Kobe passed away, I didn't cry since like too. junior high school. Like, I haven't cried. It's been so long. Mm-hmm. And you that feel probably me? felt like a good and ass when I, cry when nah, you Nah, because it, it, it didn't really count because it wasn't for me. <laughs> I went through some shit, like, you know, and I actually cried, and that shit was so satisfying. I was like, ah, yeah. oh, yes, I feel It's better. therapeutic. You Even know, that, like, the fact that y'all have to, you have to preface or be like, I haven't cried in X, Y, Z no, amount of time. And I, I'm I'm not a crier at all. So sure? I, I get it. I'm positive. No, I'm no not. sure. I, I couldn't even tell you. She I really never yeah, saw her. Yeah, I don't. I don't cry. So I think I'm I like maybe that. saw her cry one time. Yeah, probably. Right. And I, I'm like, on one hand, I'm like... All the time. I used to be a bigger years? cry. I'm not as much anymore. It was like used that's, that's the cancer. The cancer. But you it's cancer? like yeah. Oh, that's what, the, that's what I'm talking cancer about. You a cancer? Hell yeah. You July. July eighth. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. What the yeah. fuck was that about? Yeah. No, I could, I, I yeah. instantly yeah. know on people. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh you were, God. yeah, you were leaning a different direction. Wow, that's crazy. He knew it. He yeah. called so it. Funny. He called really it. did. Um, wow. But yeah, but y'all, yeah. it shouldn't have to be that. That yeah. you like, it should be a free expression because we are yeah. so quick. Especially our like our generation is going to mm-hmm. be so quick to teach like the little boys that like you said it's okay. You can have feelings. You can have emotions. But then with your partner, it's like. What what's wrong? Like ah, yes. like and you kind of and like I said, it's subconscious. It's definitely not mm-hmm. anything. I don't think that's like I'm going. You don't have feelings, and I'm not thinking about it. It's literally just like, but again, like you, it, it's like the strong black woman trope. Like it mm-hmm. can actually work against you. It's like you yeah. black brother, strong. I love brother. my strong black woman. <laughs> I tell you, but you know what I love though? You guys identified it, and you said, you know what? This is something I actively got to work on. So like, as long as you can identify it, that's step one. You know what I yeah. mean? Mm-hmm. So you already moving in the right direction. Yeah, we here for y'all right sometimes. We are right sometimes. Some, right, so, I, that's sometimes. why I said I cannot believe. You know the, all, all. The, the only thing that I would honestly like like women to do different. Cause as a nigga, as a man, this is something that I used to as a get, nigga, as a nigga, this is something <laughs> I used to like get under my skin. Like I hate when people make blanket statements about black men. Like black yeah. men don't protect women. Black men do this and black men do that. And as me being somebody that hasn't performed some of these things, I'm like, well, shit. What about the niggas that's not doing shit? But then you got to think about it. It's like, there are some black men that beat women. Mm -hmm. There are some black men that don't. There are Mm -hmm. some black men that don't do it, but also don't prevent men from doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you Mm -hmm. look at all these percentages, we contribute, let's say, even if it's like 60 to 40%. That's a shit. I go. I want to go and say that's a majority. If it's forty, it's not over fifty. But a forty percent of guys are either contributing or not contributing to the prevention of something. Mm. You could go and say, you know what, yo, black men ain't doing this. So I get that. 
But what I want women to do moving forward is start making blanket statements in a positive direction. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I would like some positive reinforcement. Yeah. Like, make the guy, like, the same energy I have for the guys who contribute to negative shit, make the niggas that do do good shit feel good as well. Right. Like, I'm liable to see a niggas ain't shit tweet at least once every five hours. I see, uh, <laughs> I see a, yo, niggas did that once a week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, oh yeah, niggas did that. Like, you see that once a week. Like, yeah. you know, put yeah. some I mean, more that raises in a, a good, good direction point, as well. Because yeah. people like to harbor on the negative a lot Absolutely. and not necessarily praise the positive. Facts. And so, and that's what's, and that is what gets the positive reinforcement, especially on social media. Negativity. Negativity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you latch on to that because we can connect on that. Yeah. It's yeah. it's almost like. We connect on trauma more so than we connect on the things that are going well. Yeah. I don't know what that says about sad, people though. as a whole, but I, I, that is that that is it the is reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we connect on trauma, not necessarily things that are going well. But I think in connecting in trauma is also being like you know somebody experienced something bad that I went through, so we can understand this together. Makes we all sense. should have good in our lives, right? But this bad thing we all can connect on. That Which is not always connected. Made I agree. Me, right. Made me 1000%. think about Grand Crew because there's this episode where they were, dude was dating this girl and they have absolutely nothing in common, but they get in a car accident and it makes them like Bond. attracted. Yeah. Mm. So then they start fucking. And, but it's only like triggered based off of like some type of fucked up thing happening. Right. And that's real in the it show is, it's yeah. funny but it's like damn you know, you know how many relationships real. start like that and then like you guys are compatible like through a traumatic situation but yeah. in regular everyday life you aren't compatible yeah you connect through some bullshit so you try to make it work but you guys ain't really good for each other right you gotta be careful to what state you're in when you connect with somebody Ooh. For real, for There's real. so much work that needs to be dismantled, miseducated, mm-hmm. and done. <laughs> well, I just hope we all continue to do the work. And I, That's you know, all it is. I'm really talking to myself. Um, I <laughs> hope I continue to do the work and really identify those things Honestly, that like, I real, actively need to work on. Yeah. Um, I mean, but, even I did that, too. I mean, I guess to your point of like not being ready for somebody and maybe like coming back later, like my relationship now was not ready when we met. I don't even know how many years ago that was. That would be like 12 years ago. Wow. Yeah. 13. Oh, four, 13. They, they, you know, every episode has been, there's been something about spinning the block on all these episodes. Yeah. Spin the block oh, I, I spin the block because I met him. Yeah, because you were June, you were June cancer. We know. There, I, <laughs> you know. You don't spin the block? Nope. No. I'm lying. I'm July. lying. Exactly. Right. It, but no, cancer spin different. the block because yeah. they, they like, Family and yes. familial things, yeah. so it's a lot that must of must be my like, rise and jump my right, my cancer rise, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of familial ideas mm-hmm. around the cancer, where it's like we don't let many people in, yeah. So if you in, you in, and if you fuck it up, you're out. He knows what he's saying, and you're out, he out. Know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're saying not coming he, back. No, he is knows what he's saying. <laughs> oh my God. He I don't have to say nothing. Veteran, he knows what he's saying. Yeah, it's bro. true. That's the cancer. Don't fuck it up. Loom, where can people find you? Um, they just put me back on Twitter. So you can follow me <laughs> on Twitter at Just Frack NYC. Yes, that's my name. Um, follow me on Instagram at King Loon the First. That's yeah, King Loon the First. And yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, also please um tune in to Freaking Frack NYC podcast. Weekly episodes and all that good stuff. So we all drop. Mondays. Okay. Start the week Mondays. off. Yeah. Start it off right. Mondays. Um and then our ending show questions what would you tell your younger self you and these power bomb questions <laughs> um do it now Ooh. all like my whole life i've had all these god-given talents i've had so many gifts so many opportunities and i kind of just lived in the life where like nah you can't do that like who would you like who do you kind of think you are kind of thing mm. you know and i'm now getting a start to like actually utilize my talents and my personality and it's working but i wish i would have did this years ago yeah you yeah. know like if i would have just used my cojones and took that leap years ago i'd be a lot better off so i would say do it now nigga that would be what i would be what i would say to my You're younger still young, self no oh uh, yes that's subjective i mean you're not a you're not a um what is a spring chicken no, but no. You still young. You still what, got breath in your body. What makes you not a spring chicken? Like my Anybody knees, my knees work. Twenty five and under is tw- a spring fucking chicken. My knees. Okay, work. I'm over twenty five, so yeah, I'm good. Right. Not my my knees cracking though. Oh, my knees crack every time I stand no, up. That's not. Crazy. I don't even care about that. Oh my god. They work. Damn. He said it don't count. <laughs> it don't count no more. Um, and what do you know for sure? Damn. 
Uh, I, I heard you ask him. To, uh, I, sh- I should have got this one right. <laughs> one thing that I know for sure is that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Um, you might not be able to see it at the moment. Sometimes I can't see it at the moment, but I know that it's there. So, yeah, there is light at the end of the tunnel for everybody. Where'd you get your positive... Um... Attitude? Yeah. From Because I was play Yo, just, just like a little transparent moment. That situation that I spoke about to you guys earlier with the whole breakup and things, that shit almost had me borderline like suicidal. Mm-hmm. You know, not to say like I've thought about killing myself, but I was like, damn, life would be a lot easier for me if I was not here. Like I yeah. got that low. Yeah. So it was kind of like death or move forward. Mm. So like I kind of was in a position where I had no choice but to be positive. So that's something that I apply every day for the rest of my life. I don't give a fuck what I'm going through. I'm not going to allow myself to sink back into that, that place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I will move forward no matter what the situation or the circumstance. So, yeah, man, you just got to keep a positive light. Like, I can't afford to dwell on negativity. I, agree. I just can't. Like, it's there, but I just pay attention to what's in front of me. Like, tunnel vision. So, yeah. Beautiful. I have to apply that to my life right now. I mean, like, in this right. very moment. Yeah, I want to cry. Right? I'm like, I'm, the like, I'm like, okay, sis. There yeah, is man. light. There is there not is, shut man. off. Nah, it's, it's dead ass there, bro. Like, think, life is really about perception. Like, why would you want to look at a glass half full or half empty? You know what Come I'm saying? Now. Like, we have so much positive things to look at. Like, focus on the good shit. Like, my life was so bad, I went to a spiritual advisor, and I was scared out my ass. I said, yo, I'm shook. And she was like, why? And I said, because I thought he was going to say a bunch of bad shit about me. She goes, yo, if you had nine bad things to say and one good thing, I would take the one good thing and make nine other good things. So that's literally what I apply to my life. You feel me? Like I might, my whole day could have been fucked up, but I ain't lose my wallet. So I'm good. You know what I mean? Like certain things like that. Like I just try to keep positive. I have everything I need right now. You know? I don't even want to do a quote, actually. That was, I mean, that was that was it. <laughs> yeah, there's there isn't oh, one. Yeah, yeah, that is that is how we go end it then. I didn't expect for this to get like this. I love it. <laughs> I, did, I did not either. I'm I did appreciate not the either. perspective. I, I love it. it. it go like and I'm incorporating it. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm taking that energy. Right. Like, it's right. incredible. Right now. Seriously, man, it's a new year. It's like the year is still fairly new. Like, knock all that shit the fuck out, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. but being a cancer, you. How, how like how like it's because we always not think the worst we're not like the think the no, worst type people but there's a lot of emotive in that and so we're prepared for the worst people have no idea how much energy i put into just being regular like they i put actually. so much yeah. energy and power into keeping my emotions rattled like there'd be times where people be like testing me mm-hmm. and i'm like yo it ain't that i'm pussy but it's like i will really hurt you you know what mm. I'm saying? Not even just to move on some violent shit, but it's like yeah. I put so much energy and the effort into being who and what it is that I am. You know what I mean? So I don't want to front of me. Like like you said, how? It's a good question. How? I work on that shit every fucking day. Yeah. Seriously, I pray to God. I you know, like I ain't perfect. I do I do bullshit. I ain't gonna front, but yeah, I put energy into like really being the best like this. Like I try my hardest. And that shit is not fucking easy. It takes a lot That's of work. Right. Yeah. You That's know, right. years it does. and it years. It takes more work. Years and that. years of unlearning. Yeah. Like you think you see how hard it is to learn shit. Unlearning something is Ooh, five yeah. times harder than learning ever is. Yeah. You feel me? Like exactly. Especially since we didn't we couldn't control the things exactly. we digested, right? We came from the people that we came from. You had from. no right. choice but to consume it. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, bro, I put that work in every fucking day. I'm not I gonna lie. Know. That's it. Put the work in. Every day. Well, thank you so much. No problem, man. No, thank, thank you guys you, for having me. You. I deeply appreciate it. Yes. Do the work. Do the work. Bye. Bye, Bye y'all. Guys. Thank you so much. No problem. Man, that was so dope. I appreciate it.